Jennifer Aniston, if she continues to look at um, a partner for a relationship within the business, within the Hollywood uh, type of arena, she's just not going to find that particular person. Ryan Reynolds and Scarlett Johansson. These two obviously are going through a separation right now. The big question right now is about whether they're going to reconcile or not, whether the marriage is going to be saved. Um, no, it's, it's not. As I'm taking a look at Natalie Portman in this movie, Black Swan, there's a lot of hype about that. I actually believe and feel that she's definitely going to get an Oscar for this particular movie. When I feel their energy together, they seem like a perfect pair, believe it or not. Um, I know there's a lot of hype about Angelina Jolie right now and Brad Pitt. Are they breaking up? Million dollar question, are they going to marry, right? Um, I'll tell you for free. No, not in the year 2011. Eva Longoria and Tony Parker. This marriage is so not going to last, um, which is a shame. After this um, separation, divorce-wise with them, you'll see her career start to skyrocket and he'll just kind of keter out. Jake Gyllenhaal and Taylor Swift, my favorite couple. For him, he is at this very moment of wanting to kind of settle down. She's definitely wanting to settle down as well, just not right now. Uh, I don't see the relationship lasting though. Oopsie. Prince William and Kate Middleton. Their energy fits perfectly together. They really do. I think they complement each other very well. I think the union between these two, when they finally marry, is just going to be probably even huger, even bigger than when um, the late Princess Diana got married. Jessica Simpson. She's warm. She, she doesn't really care too much about what people think of her, you know. Um, this person she's with, Eric Johnson, I just don't see a marriage for them whatsoever.